All right, so this sugar apple right here is one we pruned about a month ago. And as you can see, it's already full of flowers and full of nice green leaves. When we prune this, we have one over there that we're gonna show you how we pruned it. This one was pruned about a month ago. That one needs to be pruned. And what we got from this tree when we pruned it, so this is about a month later, and you can see it's getting new growth there. There's actually new little green leaves at the top too. So we'll have a, we'll have another sugar apple here soon from this one. So we clone this, this is just a cutting. And I'm gonna show you how to take your cuttings, how to get them going, and when to prune your sugar apple and why. But one thing I wanna show you, if you can zoom in right here, this is our old cut you can see here. And you can see how close that cut is to the main stem. So the reason you do your cut pretty close to your main trunk is so it'll make new branches. And on these new branches, <clears throat> if they're really far out there, it'll snap. But if it's close to the trunk, it'll be able to hold the sugar apple fruits on this new growth. So that'll make sense on the new tree, I'll show you. I'll show you where we take the cuttings. But you can see here, like we cut it up here. And over here, and you can see it got side shoots in like every direction. And there's a flower there. It's just loaded up with flowers now. And you can prune your sugar apple seasonally. You can just keep pruning it and you'll just keep getting flowers. Well, it's got fertilizer and proper water. Let's look at this one over here <coughs> that needs to get pruned. Well, this one's a little late to prune. We could have pruned this probably a week or two ago. But how you know they're ready to prune is when you start seeing the new growth come out. So this is what you want to be looking for. Like that's a good sign that you're ready to prune that branch. So this tree's woken up from the winter. Uh, this tree actually didn't lose all its leaves. This is from last year. So in some places they'll lose all their leaves over the winter. But these, uh, these old leaves will just They'll just come off and we'll get new leaves like this. But when you start seeing the new leaves just starting to shoot out of the branch like that, that's when you know your tree's ready to prune. And I'll show you how we prune this tree real quick. So I'm gonna take one cutting and I'll get it going in our little pot we got right now. But the big thing is, so you wanna take the shape of the tree and you want your you want your fruit to be able to be held by the weight of the tree. So if you do your cutting way out here, like if I just tip this branch right here, it's gonna grow new growth way out in both these directions here. And the fruit's gonna end up touching the ground or the branch is gonna snap. So this is way too far out. What I'm gonna do for a cutting is I'm gonna come in here and like it's already starting to grow here. You can see the nodes. Like this is gonna be a new branch out in this direction. Up here, here's another one, but I'm gonna snip it off before that branch. So I'm gonna get it right here. Boom, just like that. That'll heal over. We'll get a new branch coming out that way. And if you come over here, we'll see the node on this side. That's where your next leaf will start popping out. You might wanna zoom in on that. And then I'll show you what you can do with this to get this planted. So this is pretty big. I'm gonna turn this into at least two cuttings. But what you're gonna wanna do is we'll start with this topmost cutting here. And we'll just take it down to about here, I'll do this. And I'm cutting at an angle. So you cut at a 45 degree angle and that's so you get more surface area on the back. And then with this one here, I'm going to want to bury it a few nodes down. You want to at least get like two or three nodes into the soil. I'm going to go pretty deep on this. And another thing I've learned is if you do, uh, if you trim these leaves like this, uh, you have a lot better germination rate. I think it has something to do with the moisture. So I always like trim the leaves up a little bit. And then you can also, it makes it easy to tell where your new leaves are coming from because your old leaves are all cut up. So then all you're gonna do, put this in some soil and you're gonna keep it pretty moist. You're gonna wait about a, about a month, a couple weeks, you should start seeing new leaves. Put that down in there. Don't put it all the way down to the bottom's touching the bottom of the pot. 
it wants to have a little space to shoot roots. But just like that, it should be good. And one other thing you can do is you can put a little plastic over this and poke a few holes in the plastic to kind of keep it like a little greenhouse effect. You don't have to do that, you can keep misting them and they should work. But we'll go ahead and get the rest of this sugar apple pruned up. And what you really want to do when you're pruning it is just imagine where the fruit's going to come out. So if the fruit comes out here, this branch will work. So I'm going to take this one back up here. So I'll turn this into cuttings. And then back here, like, this is like the absolute furthest I'd want to go out on that branch. So I'm going to take that one there. And then these leaves, so I'll worry about that later. There's a few smaller branches down here. You get. Look at this, that's perfect. You see that, how the leaf's just starting to poke out? I'm gonna take all that so that this will start flushing out all new growth. And it seems like you're doing a lot, but don't worry, in a few weeks this will just bounce back. So there's a few more little things I can cut off. Some of these little small branches I'm just gonna take off completely. So it's kind of up to you if you want to do that. Like this one's not growing in a direction I really want. So actually, maybe I'll leave that one. That's pretty good. This one's too long though. This one I gotta snip back. Step back pretty far. It seems like you're doing a lot, but in about a month it's gonna look like that sugar apple down there. All new leaves, bunch of flowers. Just keep it watered, keep it fertilized. And then take your cuttings. Because these leaves will dry up like these ones did. And if you take care of it right, you don't need to overwater it. Don't get it super wet all the time. It should dry out a little bit. But then you'll start seeing new growth. And that's when you know you're ready for another uh, another tree. So thank you for watching. Go out there and prune your sugar apples. All right, so we got our cuttings. We got the one we just did. And then you wanna come show them this. So we got a few pots here. And what we use for our uh, soil mix, and this will save you some money, is if you use peat moss and perlite. Just two ingredients. Peat moss, uh, sphagnum peat moss. You can get a big bag of it, it goes a long way. And you're gonna use like 70% peat moss, 30% perlite, maybe even 80% peat moss. You don't need much perlite. And the perlite is just those little white, it's popped volcanic rocks, that's what it is. It's this little stuff right here. It just helps give the soil some, uh, helps with the aeration. So then, we have a cutting here. Now this one is like perfect, there's like no leaves on this. Uh, if you look at the top here, there's a little bit of stuff coming out. That's exactly what you want. Like this is the best time to take your cuttings, in my experience, for these uh, sugar apples. So, I always cut at an angle, that gives it a better chance of rooting. And I'll stick that one down. This one we'll do right there next to it. So now we got two in there. This one had a lot of growth on it. We'll pull these old leaves off. And then with these ones, I'm just gonna cut these leaves back. This one's gotta go completely. So it's gonna end up getting buried. But with these leaves, like I said before, you just snip them, then you'll be able to know what's new growth. And I think that makes them root a little bit better. And I don't use any rooting hormone. I don't really think it's necessary. I don't know, maybe that's, maybe it helps a lot. <laughs> but this one, I just buried the node. There's even some leaves there I buried, but it'll be fine. I'm gonna double pot some of these. We'll separate them out later. One more little one. 
And this one's got some leaves all over. So this one is pretty small. I don't know if this one will work, we'll see. I've had really good experience with the ones like this, where they start having those leaves in this one. So. And then you just kind of want to keep them wet. And it's more of a time thing. If you have a spray bottle and you can spray them off the cage and that'll help. Here's one. This is what you'll get in about a month's time. It'll go from this. You see the little tiny bit of green there? Just the leaves starting to this. And once you get to this stage, you want to start adding some fertilizer. Uh, some worm castings would be good at this point. Something really light, but keep it organic too. Thanks for watching.